Hi, this is Jason Radford, and today I want to welcome you to the first installment of our fall workshop, Mechanical Turk 101. Today we're going to be talking about how to just create a hit on Mechanical Turk, collect some data, uh, and we'll go over some best practices, uh, and then show you a little bit about how we do this on Volunteer Science. Uh, this is the first workshop of the fall. Uh, we're going to have more workshops coming up uh, once per month. Uh, the next will be in October on uh, multi-person experiments, uh, the, the high-level review of different kinds of multi-person experiments you can do. So if you're interested in some uh, inspiration for how to design a multi-person experiment or you know, want to do a study with multiple people, uh, please feel free to come attend that. After that, we'll be doing a uh, workshop on longitudinal studies. This will be a nuts and bolts kind of uh, workshop just on thinking about how do you get people to come back, how do you register them, how do you track people across waves. Um, if you're interested in doing longitudinal studies or a study where you just get somebody to come back uh, one or two times, you'll definitely want to show up for that. Uh, and lastly, on, in December, we're going to do a workshop on incentivizing online volunteers. So how do you get people to give it their all uh, if you have funding or if you don't have funding, if you can reward them with money or not. Um, so for this recording, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to do three standalone recordings. The first one is going to be um, just a walkthrough of how to create a hit on Mechanical Turk. The second recording is going to be uh, some slides on best practices. These slides here on the left, as you'll see, um, just on some best practices for, for uh, creating hits, pricing hits, uh, compensating workers, that kind of stuff. Uh, the third will be a standalone video on how to do this with volunteer science, how to create a hit, post it, and a couple of the shortcuts that we um, allow you to take, uh, ways that we make that a little bit faster and easier and uh, more convenient than just doing uh, straight up mechanical jerk. So with that out of the way, let's get to it. So this first part, we're going to be doing a demonstration of posting a hit to mechanical Turk. Uh, mechanical Turk has two sides. One is the front facing you know, mechanical Turk um, requester and, and worker side. Um, sort of the, the, the traditional uh, access point for uh, everyone when you're actually trying to launch a hit. Uh, what we are going to do today is focus, uh, is actually use the sandbox version of this. So you can actually do everything that you can do in the normal requester interface. This is the requester interface, the normal one. Uh, but we're going to do it in the sandbox, which means there's no real money, no real Turkers are going to see it, but uh, I, as the researcher, can create a hit, look at it as if I were a Turker, um, and participate. So just to give you a quick walkthrough of how do you create your first hit, post it up, get some data. So let me go ahead and open up the second tab here to the sandbox uh, requester site here. So I'm in the sandbox. I'm already logged into my account. Oops. Uh, so I need the requester sandbox. There we go. Requestersandbox.mturk.com. Same thing, landing on this create page. We'll start on the create page here. The same thing. Um, Mechanical Turk has a couple of different pre built things that you can do. Um, if you're using volunteer science or a secondary site, you can create whatever you want. Um, and then just put it as a link here. So the Turkers click on the link, they do the study, do whatever, uh, and then uh, ideally you give them some sort of code that they put in. Um, and what you'll end up doing is you will look at your data, see what code did the person get, is the data good? If the data is good, you accept the hit and pay the person with whoever has that code. So everybody gets a different code and you get to check, you know, did this person with this code actually give me good data? Very high level. Um, description of what's going on here and why there's a little code box and why there's a link box. Uh, you can do more advanced things like uh, image classification. They have some, some pre-built templates that you can use. Um, so you see select option cat, bird, dog. Um, just by clicking one, two, and zero. So I think I can click one, two, yeah, with my keyboard here. And then submit when I think it's a, it's a bird. That's a, then I can submit. Oh, I think I have to do a pounding box? Yeah, I don't know. Um, these I'm a little sort of less familiar with because we build our own. 
Uh, but for demonstration purposes today, we're just going to do survey link. So the idea for this particular template is you have a Qualtrics survey, or you have a MailChimp sur or a survey monkey survey, or you could do something in volunteer science. Um, all you'll need to do is get the link to that study um, and somehow generate a code at the end. Um, oh, I haven't signed in. Let me sign in. All right. Great, so I've signed in. We're going to create a project here. So project name is test survey, title, sort of example survey for a demo video. <laughs> um, please take my survey, whatever. No one's really going to see this. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm filling out basic description to help people find the hit, uh, assess whether it's the right hit for them, the workers, that is. Um, you want to be as realistic as possible with this if you uh, if you can as you develop, just so you you know catch your spelling errors early on. Reward reward is going to be a dollar. I want twenty responses. Time allotted. I give people an hour to do the survey. The survey is going to expire in seven days. After seven days, um, we're just going to close it all up, and then we auto approve after three days. So if I go if I you know get my data and I don't actually check to see if it's right or wrong after three days, Mechanical Turk is automatically going to pay anybody who submitted the hit. Um, beyond these sort of forms here, uh, the last thing you can do is add in requirements. So there's a master's requirement, and these are workers who've been given a master's qualification from Mechanical Turk, and these tend to be people who participated in a lot of hits successfully, though the process is relatively opaque, um, so we're not exactly sure who gets it when. Uh, but you say yes to require that they have the master's qualification. Um, there are other qualifications you can add. So the first three here are um, hit approval rate, rejection rate, submission rate. Uh, a location requirement, so their country, I believe, is the only thing you can do. Um, you can exclude countries. Um, number of hits approved. I'll go a little bit into more about these particular um, qualifications because there's some typical things that you do. But there's also these premium qualifications, so you can do age. They've borrowed, <laughs> they've had a student loan, for example. They're, they have a, a good number of them. So you can require that people have those things or not have those requirements. Um, project contains adult content. Uh, what's interesting about the adult content piece is that um, because we're doing research, we typically require people to be over the age of 18. So at least at Volunteer Science, we very frequently actually select adult content so people understand that they have to be 18 to participate. Um, and then you can change the visibility. So who gets to see it? Um, so I think, I don't know if I can, oh, there's no qualification, so it doesn't matter. So I've created my hit, uh, actually I want to remove this one, because it, even in my worker sandbox, I don't have a country of origin, so if I set the country of origin to be the United States, where I currently am, uh, even then I wouldn't be able to, to um, take it in the sandbox. They won't qualify. I'm going to leave these off. Uh, and when you're developing in the sandbox anyway, you want to leave these qualifications off just so you as the tester can, can test them. All right. So that's the basic summary for the hit. What happened here? I don't know. Um, so now I'm actually going to design the hit. In this case, again, this is just providing the survey link and the survey code. So you can update the, the text here. We're going to activate a survey or a tutorial, <laughs> you're right, um, fine, whatever. Um, the way this works, uh, you can read the instructions here, uh, Turkers see this URL, they're supposed to leave their Turker window open, but they open the URL in another uh, window or tab or browser, do the survey, at the end of the survey they get a code, and then they come back to this web page here and they put the code in. Turkers almost always understand this, um, this is a very common thing on Mechanical Turk, uh, so feel free to reuse um, this template as frequently and often as, as, as you uh, can, or as makes sense. Let's see if I can just delete this 
box. Yeah, okay, sure. All right, so I'm going to save. For some reason, I'm not able to update my projects. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have my survey done here. Uh, I think it's because I don't have any money in my account. Um, but here, so I, I, here's the information I put in. So adult qualification, old adult content, uh, example survey for a demo video, rewards a dollar per task. Right now there are zero tasks available. Uh, duration is an hour. Uh, and this is exactly what they'll see, this little survey instructions thing. Oh, I didn't, right, because I didn't save, so it's still there. Uh, but had it saved, had, it, had I had money in my account, I can say finish. Um, and that hit would go into, um, a, is into a batch of 20, I believe. Yeah. And then you just click the activate button on Mechanical Turk and it goes out. Um, let me show you the worker sandbox. So once it goes out, once you post your hit, Um, workers will be able to see, oops, uh, workers will sort of be able to see the hits. And this is what the worker system looks like. This is the worker sandbox, so none of these hits are real. Um, but if I were to, to look for Jason here, my hit would come up. Oh, there's a Jason here. Um, this hit, example survey for a demo video, would come up. Uh, and then what I would do is I'd preview it, and the preview would just show me you know, this survey page here. Yeah, this is an example, even even here. And I would be able to. Oops, I don't want to accept it. <laughs> sorry, that's it. Let's go back to this. again. This is me pretending to be the worker here. So I'd see it, I'd be able to see the hit exactly as a worker is going to be able to see it. I'd be able to take the hit exactly the way a worker would be able to, to take it. And then back here on the requester sandbox side, I'd actually be able to see the, the data come through from the worker sandbox into the requester sandbox. So you get the whole experience. Uh, but, but that's the basics here is you, uh, you go to this create tab in the real Mechanical Turk system, you take your survey link, you, you, you create your project, you set up the hit, you, know, you put the right survey URL here. So this would be like qualtrics.com slash my survey or whatever it is, right? Whatever your URL is, save and you post it. You go to the worker sign box, test it. Um, when it's all done, you take what you've done here and you basically copy and paste it uh, into the real thing here. Let me see. Let's see if my real account can do it. I don't think it can. Create project. I know I have to put something here. So a dollar, I think. Yeah, I can't update the project. I think, again, I think it's because I don't have any money in my account. Anyway, so that's the basics uh, of posting a hit to Mechanical Turk. It really is that simple. Um, there's no uh, magic here. Um, but as we'll see in the next video, there's a couple of, of wrinkles that uh, you'll want to make sure that you iron out in terms of you know, survey quality, data quality, uh, ensuring that you can pay people um, fairly and effectively and efficiently. Uh, so stay tuned to, to video number two, where we'll talk about you know, what are the best practices around um, creating hits, posting them to Mechanical Turk, and, and getting the best data.